Uh, well, obviously, since 2006, we got a new track. Uh, they took all the ridges out and the roads that we had. There's a, we got a straight mile, what is on a, is on a, is on a climb. It's very fair. Uh, either side is, uh, when it's good to firm, it's too much advantage. Uh, basically, those handicaps prevails with those paces when the good horses, good horses are, but they can win from either side. Uh, the, the round course is more tricky. Uh, swing the bottom at the mile. Um, obviously, you don't want to try to go too wide. Uh, more, more than too wide is three is not convenient. But sometimes in them big handicaps, you you, you have no choice. Um, it is. Uh, I mean, the straight looks 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 quite long from the stand, but um, you know, usually uh, Royal Ascot good horses don't stop, so you can't give them too much rope. Uh, Apart from that, uh, it's a quite stiff track. You, you can't see from the grandstand, but basically from, from, from the mile, it's rising all the way to the line. And, uh, you know, it's fantastic. You know, you've got the best horses with the best trainers and jockeys, and, and that's why he, he creates such a good racing scenario. And uh, that's why Royal Asco is the best. No crowds this year, a bit different, uh, a bit bizarre. Uh, you know, I, uh, I rode the new market last week and we had no crowds, but you know, when the, once the stores open, it's, it's business as usual. It's like, uh, you know, try to win. Um, you know, of course, you know, I, you, you, you don't need the raw, but uh, this year it is what it is, and uh, at least we're going ahead. And uh, I'm sure the guys, the people watching in the comfort of their, of their home, they'll be very grateful.